Welcome back, Seth Bling here. And today I want to show you another mod for the Super Mario World Jailbreak. And it involves this monstrosity of a controller. Uh, first of all though, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the Super Mario World Jailbreak, there is a link in the video description to the video where I explained all of it. You should go check that out if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's a really cool video and I promise you'll enjoy it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, basically, we injected a bunch of corrupted save data onto a real Super Mario World cartridge. And so now the Super Mario World cartridge has a hex editor and a mod loader. And so the mod loader is gonna load a mod that I'm gonna show you today. And uh, specifically the mod is to add compatibility for this beast of a controller. <laughs> okay, so if you see it says NTT data, it's a, it's a data pad for the Super Famicom. Uh, NTT is a Japanese telecom company and they produced this controller for use with the NTT modem, which is how you connected to the internet in the 90s, for all you young kids out there. The NTT modem had <laughs> was only ever used for a single purpose, which was for betting on horse racing, and that's all it was ever used for. I think they had other ideas and just never got around to them. Anyway, so this is kind of a weird controller. I bought this about a year ago after we did the Flappy Bird code injection because I thought it'd be useful for entering a lot of data uh, all at once because it's got so many buttons. And, uh, but I never got around to using it. But now that I have an easy way to load mods from a real Super Mario World cartridge, I wrote a mod to let me enter hexadecimal data using this controller. So you'll notice we have the numbers zero through nine. Uh, A and B are already on the controller. I reappropriated X and Y as the hexadecimal digits C and D. And then there's this dot and hash, which I'm using for uh, F and E. And then actually there's some buttons underneath um, F and E. Those are actually, there's, those are buttons there, uh, but I taped over them just because I'm not using them. And I needed something so that I could actually see which button was which because I kept forgetting. So let's go ahead and load the mod and I'll show you what it actually does. Uh, let me go here. Okay, so as always, I'm loading save file C. Uh, this with this is the jailbroken file, so it loads some like corrupted overworld stuff. But then now the hex editor is enabled and we can load a regular save file and we're good to go. So if I uh, press select and down left, actually select on this controller is kind of weird. Uh, it is uh, this button here is select, and this one is start. They're side arrows for some reason, I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, select down and left. So this is the mod. This is the code that runs the mod. Um, right now the mod's not running because I haven't pressed select plus R, but uh, but we can kind of like select, you know, run the cursor over all the data. Now normally the way this works is if you want to change the data, you press R to increment and you press L to decrement. And if you hold L and R at the same time, it goes really, really fast. Uh, but it still takes a little while to enter data. So if I press select an R, we'll load the mod. And you'll notice something kind of blinked for a moment, but it still looks the same. Uh, but the mod, the mod code is actually running now. It's uh, the mod actually hooks into the existing hex editor. And what it does is L and R still worked for loading data. I can still move the cursor around all I want. But in addition to that, I can also, ah, uh, <laughs> I can write data using the, the controller. So I can write any any hex digit I want. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. There you go. And it's much faster um, than trying to do, trying to go like, if I want like A5, I have to do this and kind of like, oh, actually I landed right on it. <laughs> Usually you don't land right on it. That was pretty lucky. Like if I want to go to zero, it's kind of, okay takes some time, but, um, but yeah, so like, let's say I want to try and copy the top line of, of code here from the, from the program. So D A A five, I'm still not very fast at this, but it's still way faster than trying to do it by, by hand. So zero F, uh, F zero, zero two, six, four, F nine, A zero, zero one, uh, I think I got off by a little bit. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, this isn't right. F4. Uh, F4. A0, 0, 1. Oh, no, we're good. 8C, 1, 6, 4, 0. Uh, 9C, 
Yeah, I, it's like a little bit hard to see which, which, anyway. There you go. I wrote a whole line. Normally this would take me like a minute or two. It took me about 30 seconds. I don't actually know how long it took me, but it was, it was relatively fast and I'm not very good at this. But if you, you can imagine, it takes time to learn how to type on a new system, right? How long did it take you to learn how to type on a keyboard? Probably, probably a little while, right? So, uh, so yeah. The idea is you could use this, find a big chunk of unused RAM in Super Mario World, and there's several places where there's a few unused kilobytes. Um, the Super Nintendo has 128 kilobytes of RAM, but Super Mario World does not use all of it. So there's a couple, I think there's like a couple dozen kilobytes available. Uh, a couple of years ago at AGDQ, the uh, TaskBot actually injected, I think something like 30 kilobytes of data into unused RAM. Uh, and that was the code for Super Mario Brothers. So 30 kilobytes would take quite a long time to enter this way. But still, if you were gonna do like a few kilobytes, that might that might be doable in one sitting and and so you could enter a lot of data at once. Anyway, I'm just kind of <laughs> I guess I can do this. Um, but yeah, so I don't have any specific plans for what to do with this. I it just kind of tickled my fancy that there's this weird numpad controller, and I just it just, I feel like nobody ever used it to its full potential. So I want to, I want to take this numpad controller to its full potential. Anyway, if you, if for some reason you happen to have one of these godforsaken controllers, uh, and you want to use the code, the mod that I, I wrote for the jailbreak, um, go ahead and check out the video description. There is a link to the code. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a weird, weird thing I did here, but. <laughs> Works okay, and uh, it's, it's kind of neat. That's about it. Thanks for watching.